How are you feeling? You say you don't want to get sick. I know you have to watch yourself, but how have you been lately, physically and mentally? Uh, I feel great. I feel great. Uh, camp's been great. Sparring's been great. Strength and conditioning. Back work, everything has been spot on. Uh, my weight's good. I know y'all hear that from every fighter, but I think if you check my track record, you know that if I'm telling y'all something's good, that probably means that it's great. So um, everything's spot on. Just finishing out with uh, camp with a bang. About some February 15th. How's it feel being back here? And uh, you know, I know you were you were, you were back in your home, but uh, coming back here to to. To the, to the gym here, familiar territory for you. Yeah, definitely. This is a, a city boxing, um, great gym. A lot of great fighters coming in now. A lot of great sparring, great facility, great atmosphere. So, super excited to be part of uh, city boxing. Speaking of sparring, talk about the sparring sessions. How they been going? Man, we've had some some really good um, sparring. Uh, Ronald Ellis, brother Rashidi Ellis, and, uh, they got a sister too who's in the Olympics. Um, a couple guys from uh, Norway, strong, coming forward, throwing punches, pushing me, making me work. Uh, so it's been great, man. How do you feel these sparring sessions are going? Do you think you've been getting a little sharp in there? Oh, yeah. Dominating the sparring sessions? I'm like boxing super sharp right now. This is probably probably the sharpest I've been. Sharper than the Jose fight, sharper than the Mike Lee fight. I'm boxing super sharp right now. So. What about... What about fighting in, uh, in your backyard now? Uh, what, what's that experience going to be like for you? Is there any added, uh, I don't want to say pressure, but you know, so many people that you know around you. Um, you know, there's something we pushed for, something I really wanted. Uh, but now that I have it, it's not what I want to focus on. You know, I'm focused on the fight. I'm focused on the task at hand. And, um, yeah, I'm not really concerned. I know there's going to be a lot of people trying to pull me in different directions, but... I'm not going to let that happen. I'm focused on the task at hand. So. Is it special to be back in the town as a world champion, you know, at the arena, the biggest arena in town? And, uh, what, what, like, the sentimental aspect, what does that mean for you? Man, huge. Uh, since I was a little kid, you know, thought about, man, I was, one day I want to bring a world title to the Bridgestone. Like you said, biggest dude in the city. Um, so to be doing that as a world champion, um, at this point in my career, it's awesome. It's huge. I'm going to make the most of it. What do you think of your um, opponent? He's not real well known here in the United States, but he's definitely got a good record. Yeah, big record, um, a lot of knockouts. Um, he's been the uh, the WBA interim champ, and that's more than a lot of guys that we do know over here. You know, so um, I know he's going to take what's mine. I know he's. Uh, I know this is the biggest moment in his life. Uh, but he'll fall short. So. And your last fight against Mike Lee was uh, explosive and fast. Um, but the, the downfall is you didn't get a lot of rounds in that fight, but do you feel like everything is on point for, as far as this fight goes? No rust or anything? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, went 12 rounds with Jose. Uh, turned right back around. Uh, had a great camp. Got in rounds with a couple rounds with uh, Mike Lee. And, um, and like I said before, my sparring, I'm, I'm boxing probably sharper than I ever have. My offense is more than it's ever been. My punch of power, my defense is just as slick. My footwork, I mean, everything is on the highest level. So you guys are, you know, I fought Jose, you've seen the best Caleb plan. I fought Mike Lee, you didn't get to see a whole lot of it. That was the best Caleb plan. Now in this fight, I'm gonna be even better Caleb plan. So. And that last fight was um, like a, a headline before the pay-per-view event. This is just by itself, standalone headline. How do you see your progression as far as that, you know, the main event level of fighter? Um, on it's exciting. You know, I got the, the main event on FS1. Uh, triple the, the views, just broke the record. You know, before mine, it was like 100,000 something. Uh, Fought Jose, it was like 186,000. Um, the highest view boxing match on FS1 in the history. And uh, turn right back around, made a event on Fox before the Fox pay-per-view. And then to turn right back around and be made a event on Fox again, I feel like, you know, my career is right where it's going to be. We're right where I want it to be. And uh, I'm just taking it one fight at a time. And, um, yeah, get this out of the way. And then we'll move on to what's next. And I know you're focused on this fight, but everyone always asks you, when's the unification coming? Is that what you want after this fight? Or what can you say about that? Uh, I don't know. I'm just focused on this fight right now. That's a... Y'all heard me to, you know, tell you guys that I want that fight. Um, that's a fight that I do want. That's a fight that I've been pushing for. That's a fight that I'll continue to push for. Um, but it takes two to dance. And not only that, but there's, you know, people above us who may want that to, like, simmer. 
little more, you know, with us maybe being so young in our career. Uh, I'm not interested in that. I don't care about weight. Otherwise, I wouldn't fight a four world title with, you know, 17 fights uh, against the opposition that I did. So, um, but right now, I'm just focused on the task at hand. I don't really care about anything else. So. What do you think of your division right now as a whole? It's got, it looks like Canelo's coming back to it, so it's just getting more star power and uh, bigger. What do you think? I feel like. Uh, the Superman away division is the hottest that it's ever been. Uh, you know, some good champions, a great champion, um, some old guys that are a little bit older, but with big names who have been world champions, and um, some prospects who are on the way. So uh, I think it's a great time to be in the away division. And um, real soon I'm looking to, I don't really feel like anyone's been able to take the reins. You know, become unified or really take the reins and take control of the division. Um, I plan on doing that here soon, though. So, you think that, that you know, you're a hard worker, your work ethic is great, uh, you, you, you've got a belt. Uh, you think that you have the, the respect from uh, the boxing community that you should have? I mean, because you, you've been out there, you, you, you know, you're, you're putting everything you have into this thing. And what do you think it'll take to get that uh, spotlight on you a little more? Um, no, I don't really feel like I get the respect that I deserve. Um, I feel like there's still a lot of people out there who think that I'm just hype. You know, that I'm not the real deal. But I'll just keep, uh, why do you keep think doing that? what I do. Why do you think they think that? I think everybody knows why. Yeah. I think most people know why. I don't really got to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that's rare in boxing, and so it may be hard for them to believe, but they don't have to take my word for it, you know, they don't have to give me the respect, I'd rather just keep working, keep winning, get my hair raised, and uh, earn it the hard way, so. But that being said, you think you might, um, I don't know, set a precedence, but an example, so that it might not be so rare in the future? Hopefully, you know, um, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what skin color you are, it doesn't matter, you know, you know your ethnicity, your religion, or you can be whoever you want to be, you can be whoever you want to be, you're not bound to shackle to, to any of that, and yeah, maybe I'll shift the whole culture, you know what I'm saying, so, but right now I'm just focused on me, I'm focused on myself, I'm focused on accomplishing my goals and getting where I want, and, uh, you know, hopefully there's others behind me, not just, you know, Caucasian people, but people of all colors, you know, think, man, if he can do that, if he can come from where he's from, if he can go through what he's been through, and become a world champion, and become this, and become that, then, you know, I, I can go out, they can be something completely different, can, they can like, be an astronaut, you know, and they can be a completely different color, a completely different religion, but because maybe they've seen that there was a rarity in boxing, they feel like they can be a rarity too. So on November or on a week and a half, excuse me. Um, what are the fans going to see when you step in the ring, main event box? Like I said, the best kid of the planet yet. Um, boxing is super sharp. You guys want to see that? Um, this fight's not going 12 rounds. Um, like I said, against Mike, you need to do away the white flag or I'll wave it for him. So we look forward to seeing it. Thank you.